So I want to look kind of like, hey guys, but like everyone always says like, hey guys. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, so like, that's kind of like the normal like, hey people of the world. Why do you like just let it happen naturally? Hey tubers. <gasps> oh, that seems weird for the people like tubers. I wish I could make up words. But I kind of like the way that sounds though. Tubers. Hey tubers, I'm Gabriella and I'm here with Tyler Scorey, who will be joining me today for our talk about meeting people at Playlist. <laughs> so let's get started. All right. First, Tyler Oakley. It was so weird meeting Tyler because we met him while we were outside walking on this pathway. So it was like we kind of saw him at first and then like it registered and I was like, oh, that's, that's Tyler Oakley. Uh, it was really strange <laughs> just like walking, you know, outside and seeing someone that you've been watching on YouTube walking towards you. It was so weird. That was probably the weirdest thing about Playlist was just seeing everyone. It was just uh -huh. like... I don't even know how I feel about this. Like, it felt like as if you're meeting a celebrity just because, like, you're so used to being, like, far off and on Twitter and, you know, having an interaction with them. And they're like, bam, they're there. And they're giving you hugs and taking pictures with you. It was just so amazing. It was so cool. But at the same time, it was kind of like meeting a friend, too, because you felt like you knew them so well after watching, like, you know, a hundred of their videos. Right. So, yeah, so strange. And it was, he was so nice. Tyler was, like, exactly how he is in his videos. He was so kind. He was just like, oh, hi. I'd be like, can we take a picture? He's like, of course. And he was just like, so friendly. It was so nice meeting him. It was so cool seeing him in person. It was, it was awesome. We actually ended up going to one of his uh, talks that he had on collaboration. And it was really neat because we were in the front row. We kind of snuck back. We kinda. didn't <laughs> sneak in. The door didn't say don't enter. We just happened to go out a kind of service hallway. Because we kind of skipped a line, but not because we didn't want to wait in the line. It was because we were in another conference. Yeah, so, so we were it, trying to we, jump we, over yeah. to the next room. And we ended up <laughs> so, going through a service hallway. And when we came out, he was like backstage right there. And then we were kind of like, yeah, hey, oh, hey, you there. <laughs> so but it was, that was neat. Yeah, it was kind of funny because when we got in the room, when everyone else came in, they're like, what the heck? How are there any people in here? We're like, we don't know. Yeah. Meeting Jack and Finn was like, I don't even know how to begin to explain it. We actually first saw them. They were sitting down to have lunch as we were going to go find oh, lunch. Yeah. And I saw them through the window and I was just like, <gasps> I was like, that's, it was like the first time I had seen them at all at the conference. I was like, oh my God. I was like freaking out. And I was like, well, I really want to ask for their picture, but I don't want to be like rude because they're about to eat. I was like, I'll see them later. So I went to the British YouTuber panel and then met them, got their picture. And it was so cool because I was just like, hey, you know, just take a picture. Although Jack didn't smile. Uh -huh, I was going to say, they both seemed slightly... Um, I think they were just overwhelmed. overwhelmed. Yeah, they were a little... Because obviously they had these huge groups of Annoying girls people. around them. Like 24 7. And they're like really tolerant because people are like shoving their phones in their face. Like, say hi to my friend Lisa, she's at home. And they just be like, hi Lisa, why aren't you here with us at Playlist? That's they're so adorable. Hard, okay, accent. I can do it <laughs> I met Alyssa, they're like, why aren't you here at Playlist? Oh, I used to do a really good bridge back, but now I'm under pressure. Like, should we tell them about the incident? Or do you think that should be like another? No. Another day, another time. Story time. They actually had a panel called the Collaboration Station, which is where you're supposed to get to make a video with them, but they just did a question and answer on collaboration. But we had already made a collaboration video that we wanted to do with them. Like, it was a short game. It was, like, to the point. It was so fun. funny. It was so cool. And they had said in the collaboration that if you're going to collab with them, that you really just have to, or not them in general, just collaborations. You have to have an idea, have it set, have it short, have it fun, and you just got to, like, add an ask. So I was, like, sitting there, I was like, maybe I should just ask if we could still do it. And so then I just got this courage and I raised my hand and I asked them, I was like, you said that we were gonna clap. And then it was so funny because as soon as I asked them, like the room got like so quiet and they got so awkward. They're just like, oh. Cause you could like tell like they're like thinking like she yeah. has an idea. She's doing everything we told her to do. How can we say no? And then Finn was kind of like, well, if we say yes to you, we gotta say yes to everyone. But then Jack was like, see us afterwards. And guess what? They left. They left. They freaking left. They didn't see me afterwards. So, Jack and Finn? Boo you. <laughs> yeah. Boo you. You don't get to be in my video. Joey and Megan. It was just so... It's been so cool because watching The Amazing Race, I feel like it's like just even taking them to a ne next level uh -huh. because you get to see them not while they're vlogging, but just like as they're really being them while they're trying to like win this race. And, and we're like obsessed with The Amazing yeah. Race. So, so obsessed. <laughs> so obsessed with it. Obsessed. 
Joey was definitely a little bit more like reserved, uh -huh. I guess you'd say, than he was in his vlogs. Then in his vlogs, I was like, I may the odds be ever in your favor, but like he was just very kind of like shy, like very like kind of like, hi, I'm Joey. Uh -huh. like, Really, it was, it was interesting because I don't know for sure. I mean, I would have thought he would have been really, really extroverted, but it seemed maybe just that one day. But it seemed like he was really introverted. Uh, it's. I mean, he was so nice. Yeah, like he was yeah, super so nice, nice. But it was just very like. It was just different. Yeah, so, like I was yeah. like so used to him, like you know, like just kind of like being Joey. Like I'm Joey. Megan's exactly how she was. Megan was a blast. Like I like ran into Megan literally like five different times uh -huh. and would just talk to her. I made candy sushi with her and it made it in the vlog. Oh, but yeah. So we were talking to her about like her being U-turned on the Amazing Race. If you guys follow along, and she's like, I know everyone was so mean to us. Why do they hate us? Um, Megan was so nice. Yeah, she was. They were both so nice. I just can't really get over easy it. Easy to have like a conversation with, which is again strange because usually when you're watching them on YouTube, you don't get to talk <laughs> to them. They're the one having the conversation. Yeah, with you. so it was really cool. Amazing Phil. He is so tall. Like usually you expect people to be like either a little taller or a little <laughs> shorter in their video. He had to have been like six no, foot like, eleven, like <laughs> like basketball player. But it was literally like. Hi Phil, how you doing? Uh, they, him and Dan did like their main stage show and it was so funny because it was like very interactive with the audience and had everyone laughing and playing games. But then afterwards, um, because the meet and greet line to meet them was for really long, to like five hours long, and we got cut off. And I was like, well, not great, not uh -huh. to meet them, but we found him in the parking lot. Um, well, they were like kind of like this little mass group of yeah, people it wasn't around like him. Stalkerish. He right, just we weren't to go stalking him. We just happened to the see parking him. Lot. Um, well, he was there, so I got my picture with him. I was like, oh my god, I love his videos, and he's just so nice. His eyes and everything, his face, he's so friendly. I don't know where Dan was. I never got a picture with Dan, but I watched Phil more than I watched Dan anyway, so it all worked out well. Yeah. <laughs> I think overall it was so much fun being at Playlist just because you're around so many people who are so supportive of what you're doing. When you tell people about YouTube, it's kind of like, you make videos for YouTube. But like here it was like, you don't make videos for YouTube. It was just so nice to be around everyone because everyone was so supportive, everyone was so nice and kind, and it was just like, I felt like I felt well at home with my people. <laughs> So yeah, that, that was Playlist and it was amazing and I can't wait for next year and I can't wait for VidCon and I am so excited because it was just the feels, the feels. <laughs> if you want to know what it was like to meet YouTubers such as Glozel, Daily Grace, Shay Carl, and more, go ahead and click on Tyler's face and learn all about the craziness that ensued from that. Subscribe for more videos and like this so, you know, you let people know that you enjoyed it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.